How much do beggars collect in a single day? $10? $20? Well, it depends on the country, but on average, one would say $10 to $100. But what if we told you some beggars are landlords in metropolitans? I know, the beggar net worth questions have begun sinking in. Well, in today's video, we're going to dissect the 10 richest beggars in the world. Number 10. Lakshmi Das Lakshmi Das carries a long legacy and an exceptional experience in begging. She's been based on the streets of Kolkata from the tender age of 16 and has spent 55 years begging. Until her retirement, it's estimated that she earned huge amounts of wealth and more than the average Indian professionals. But what's more interesting? What brings her onto this list? A local bank revealed that she owns a huge bank account. According to the institution, she owned 100 kilograms of coins, which she had set aside as her retirement plan. When her story came out in media outlets, people fell in love with the story of her saving and contributed to her kitty with good faith. She also got lucky, as foreigners also extended their arms to help her. Although her net worth wasn't revealed, she now earns 30,000 INR, $386 per month. Number 9. Saracha Devi as a beggar, Sarvachya Devi surprised the world with his annual insurance premium. Who pays insurance in double digits? Sarvachya Devi pays 36,000 INR, $460 annually as her insurance health premium, which probably makes her the richest female beggar. Over her begging business in the town of Patna, she amassed an average of 40,000 INR, $515 every month. Currently, she owns a house near Patna's Ashok Cinemas, and through her accumulated income, she's been able to travel to many countries and a couple of holy places in India. Number 8. Krishna Kumar Gait Krishna Kumar Gait is always equated to an engineer. Reason being? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Krishna is a beggar from India, Mumbai, who begs daily in CP Tank, Mumbai, India. But what else does he own? Unlike many other beggars in Mumbai, Krishna is a homeowner. He owns a flat in Nalaspura, Pasha States, which boosts his bulging income from the streets. It's estimated that Krishna also collects 1,500 INR, $20 a day on a bad day, and over 2,000 INR, $25 on good days. Number 7. Sambachi Kale Sambachi Kale's family is exceptional when it comes to begging in the streets of Mumbai. Funny enough, this family of four has no known traditional job. Does this mean this business is so profitable? Before we dive further, Kindly make an effort and hit that red subscribe button at the bottom of this video. Now hit that notification bell for more informative videos too. Done? Investigation revealed that Sambachi Kale family saves at least 50,000 INR, $644 monthly, which helps them buy shares in investment companies. Besides, they own two houses in Salapur City and a flat in Mumbai. Their net worth is estimated to be 14,746,000 INR, $190,000. Number 6. Bharat Jain If Forbes had a special ranking segment for beggars, Bharat Jain would be featured for decades back to back. Bharat has a disciplined begging 10 hour spree where he earns $30 in a single day. He begs along Azad Maidan Terminus in Mumbai, India. But what does he own? Bharat Jain is a happy owner of commercial space in Bandup with a passive income of 10,000 Indian rupees, $128, and two huge apartments. His net worth is around 2 crore, $257,000. Number 5. Ted Williams Ted Williams was a US-based beggar who had an exemplary music career before drugs brought everything to a standstill. He had a golden voice but was homeless. Unlike other beggars, his resilience and passion for music swept him out of the streets. While begging and singing in the streets of Ohio, one media reporter recorded him and uploaded his video on YouTube. His vocals shook the world which brought him widespread media attention and consequently a huge and unimaginable success. He was hired as a voiceover artist for TV commercials such as Pepsi with his infamous tagline Who put the R in cola? for its revised joy of Pepsi. Currently, Ted Williams' net worth is estimated to be $500,000. Number 4. Simon Wright Until his begging ban, Simon Wright was well known for his phrase, homeless and hungry. But what led to his ban? It emerged that he was living in a posh 300,000 pound, $322,000 flat in Fulham and was collecting over 50,000 pounds, $53,000 in a single year. In his begging activities, Simon Wright could dress in ragged clothes and be based in Not West Bank in Putney, London. After his first ban from begging by a London magistrate in 2013, Wright started begging again. 
he was sentenced to five-year imprisonment for antisocial behavior. His net worth is estimated to be 500,000 pounds, $535,950. Number three, Rong Feng. Rong Feng began in 1993 at the age of 17. He had a family to take care of, and after several failed attempts to secure a job, he decided to jump onto this bandwagon. Although he retired from his begging job, Rong Feng's begging is just incredible. Let's be honest, how many beggars invest what they earn and give back to the community? Or rather, how many beggars remember individuals who once bailed them? Rong Feng was an extremely poor beggar along the streets of Zhejiang Town, East China. Throughout his begging business, he collected enough money that later helped him establish food vending ventures. Funny enough, his venture into food outlets was inspired by a lady who once helped him with noodles, whom he later awarded 163,000 for her generosity. Rong Feng is currently selling newspapers, where he earns approximately $100 a day. Number 2. Aisha Aisha was born in Saudi Arabia. She is well known for scrounging through the streets of Jeddah in the Al Balad district. Given her physical state and her unending hard times complaints, Aisha's net worth came as a surprise to many after her death. Can you imagine this blind haggard had amassed a real estate fortune that rivaled Saudi millionaires? Her friend revealed that with her small pan, she managed to build a real estate empire valued at $3,799,000 and had a couple of jewelry, which were also estimated to be worth SR $1,266,000. Her friend Al Sadi also revealed that Aisha did not have relatives, except for her deceased sister and mother who were beggars. Aisha's life came to 100 years in a bathroom at her home in 2014. Number 1. Erwin Corey Can you imagine your favorite celebrity turning himself into a beggar? If you didn't know, the infamous Erwin Corey did it. But he was known to be a celebrity beggar with a purpose. Which purpose? Did he run broke? Although technically richer than most average Americans, Erwin Corey used his fame to collect money for a charity organization in Cuba, and he features in this list due to the huge amounts of money he collected from begging. Erwin earned an estimated $150 to $250 each day in his begging spree for 17 years. Unlike his counterparts on this list, people were well aware of his wealth while he was begging. Erwin Corey begged in Manhattan suburbs, USA. Although he donated all he got from begging, his net worth is estimated to be $4 million upon his death. Hello, are you still there? That's our video for today. Hopefully our video won't dehumanize you or restrain you from lending a hand to a beggar in your hometown. Most of them still need our help. Stay safe and let's meet on our next video.